Okay, I'm going to show you a really easy way and economical way to make a very quality uh, vulcanized mold. So this is a mold holder right here. This is the mold frame. The mold frame has uh, a brass sprue that runs through with a cone on it. So now what you want to do is we take this mold rubber here and we've got four pieces like this. We're going to take two of them and put them together. We're going to take and powder the bottom side of one and we're going to powder that part of the uh, mold holder and we're going to set that down just like that. Then we're going to take our mold frame and we're going to powder the inside. We're using talc. You don't want to breathe that in. You want to place this onto there like that so you've got your cone coming up into the mold rubber and you want to center it in the mold holder so next thing to do is I've got these little birds here and I want to make a mold so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little bir birds here I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to kind of line it up with the uh, the sprue rod there and I'm going to push that down right in there like that and that gives me a really great idea I'm actually going to take you can extend your sprue rod so I'm going to extend it right up to the back tail of that one bird then I'm going to take my other two birds and I'm going to place them want to push them down in. This is a really high durometer mold rubber so these birds are not going to shift. They're going to stay right in place. Okay, we're going to push them both in there. Just like that. And once the mold is made, we'll cut those in. And so we'll have sprues going to the other two birds. Next thing we want to do is these are mold locks. And we're going to put two of them in here. One there and one right here. And when the two halves are separated, these are going to help line up the mold. Now I just take like a piece of uh, tubing, brass tubing, and it helps me push on the top of the mold locks push them down into place. Want to get them level, straighten them out. Once you get to that point, take your talc and powder this really good because we want the two halves not to stick together. Now we have the other two pieces. We're going to talc one side and that part is going to go down so in total we have a three quarter inch mold frame and we have four pieces of quarter inch mold rubber. What that does is it gives us one quarter inch above the mold frame. So we push that down, push it in there really good and then you can take and you can telk the top of that Telk the top of the mold holder. Set that on like that. Take the wing nuts. Now the whole time I've been making this, I have my toaster oven on and I have it set for 350 degrees. And this is going to go into the toaster oven for 5 oh, 50 minutes. That's all it takes to make a beautiful vulcanized rubber mold. So we're going to tighten these down as far as we can hand tighten them. If you turn it on the side you might have a gap. That's okay. But you want to get these so that they're somewhat even. So that the mold is made nice and flush and even all the way around. And that's it.
that is it for this part and now we'll I'll put it in and then we'll do another mold opening the mold alright excuse me another video opening the mold thank you